Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about how to turn a gloss uh, finish matte or satin. So I suppose the most common application for this uh, is going to be some of you who have matte finish, you know, guitars, bicycles, things like that, and areas of them have been rubbed out so that they've essentially been polished up to a gloss finish. It's not a very uncommon occurrence. It, it happens actually pretty much any time somebody's got a matte guitar. If they play it enough, their arm's going to rub kind of a glossed out area on there. Um, so this is a way that you can repair that kind of thing. You can turn it back to that matte finish. I've got a pretty extreme example here. What I've got is a guitar that I recently demonstrated um, how to do a pattern with matte and gloss on it. So it's a combination of the two. You can always do that. Um, but if you want to turn this all back to a matte finish, there are a couple different ways you can do that. First is going to be to scuff your gloss back so that it all kind of looks the same. That's not, it's not very easy to get it to look good when you do that, but that's the first step regardless. And then uh, the other thing that you can do once you've done that is you can even it all out with a coat of matte clear. So I'm just going to do that using a spray can. I've got my matte finished clear coat and that's going to even this all back out. So I'll bring you in a little closer here. You can see what I'm doing. Once we've got it all back to matte, we'll talk about how you can then turn that into a satin finish if you want. Uh, and that's kind of the easiest way to go about it. So let's bring in and you can see how I do this. As I said, the first thing you need to do is scuff that back. So I'm going to use some scotch Bright and just kind of aggressively sand this back so that it looks a little bit more like the matte stuff because it won't have any gloss on it anymore. Now, I went in and literally painted those stripes on there, so there are some lines where I taped. If you've just got a rub mark from your arm, that's not going to be the case. Or if you're taking something that's fully finished in gloss and turning it into matte, again, that's not going to be an issue. So, you don't really have to worry too much about running into that problem unless you've literally got a gloss design painted onto your matte and it's got those ridges in it. But that's kind of what I'm dealing with, so I guess that's what you're going to see. Kind of missed a spot. Good work, Brad. All right, so now I've got this all rubbed back. It's actually all a matte finish at this point, but it's not a nice, even matte finish. That's where the paint comes in. You want to make sure, sorry, you want to make sure your surface is nicely cleaned. Probably for the best to use some wax and grease remover or uh, some Windex or something like that when you do the cleaning. And then you can come in and just put a nice light coat. It doesn't have to be a massive coat because this is already protected by clear, so you don't need to build up a full you know, layer of clear coat the way you normally would. You're really just putting one coat on here to even out this finish. All right, so obviously that's wet, so it's gonna look glossy right now, but we'll come back to this in probably 20, 30 minutes, and we'll see how nice and even the, uh, the matte finish looks. Let's do that. It's been about 20 minutes, maybe 30 since I sprayed this. The matte clear dries very quickly, so it's not really an issue. It's nice and dry to the touch now. And uh, it's almost a blessing that I had those lines in there, the raised up areas where the gloss was because now you can see exactly where that was before um, but you can also see just how nice and even that finishes it's yeah it's all the same nice even matte so that's basically it that's how you go about repairing or getting rid of those uh, those gloss polished out spots or changing an entire gloss paint job to matte if that's what you're choosing to do now we can take another step here and change this into a satin finish if you want you can do what I did there, but spray a satin instead of a matte. Or if you've got a matte that you want to turn satin or you just want to follow the same process because you're seeing me do it, that's fine too. 
Uh, what we're going to do now is take some finishing wax, some steel wool, some 4-0 steel wool, and bring this up to a satin finish. So it really doesn't get much simpler than this. I literally have some steel wool and my paste finishing wax, which is just the stuff from Minwax, but there are plenty of companies that make them. I'm excited to try Bellin's paste finishing wax once, uh, once I get the opportunity because I've enjoyed working with all of their products. Take some on your steel wool and just go ahead and rub it in there. So it's almost acting like a bit of a polish at this point. We're just buffing that right in there. Uh, this is going to make it a pain for me when I go to repaint this guitar again because it's wax and nothing sticks to wax. So I'm going to need to really go heavy on the wax and grease remover on this one, hey? But anyway, you just buff that in there with your steel wool. And you'll notice that when I'm done with this, it looks a fair bit glossier than it did um, before when I had that just the matte finish look so depending on how far you go with this you can buff it up to a uh, you can rub it up to a um, satin finish or to a semi gloss if you're pretty aggressive with it on the bright side if you go too far you can always clean it off aggressively and then uh, do it again I'm gonna buff that wax off just with a shop towel now and you can see what I'm left with Now, if you have an actual buffer, this is the time to use it. But I want this tutorial to be uh, something that you can do without having to go out and actually buy a bunch of tools, or really any tools for that matter. So I'm just going to do it with a shop towel. You can do this more than once, too, if you want to keep increasing the shine level that you've got. But once should be sufficient for this. So just finishing buffing this off of here and you'll be able to see what kind of finish I'm left with. You saw how mad it was a minute ago when I started that. That literally took me maybe a minute, two minutes tops. And look what we're left with here. Still needs a little bit of cleaning up, but we've got a nice satin high, like fairly high sheen for a satin actually. I might have gone a little too hard on it. Um, Kind of verging on semi-gloss here but yeah that's uh it's got some wax residue on it still but even through that you can tell what uh what we've ended up with so that's it guys it's pretty straightforward changing that gloss to a matte changing that matte to a satin it's all pretty easy to do so i hope you found the video useful or that you enjoyed it uh, if you did like it please give it a thumbs up so it's easier for other people to find and as always thank you for watching and i'll see you next time